Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed. Their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. According to the Honorable Native American Chief Phil Lane Jr., enlightened masters have always been coming to bless our world, helping to move our human civilization forward to a freer, more inclusive and advanced state. So you see from the teachings of Abraham, their teachings about the family. And then Moses comes. And then Moses begins to teach about tribes. Okay, you see tribes emerging from that part of the world. Then you see the coming of Jesus, and you see city-states in that part of the world. Then you have Muhammad come, and you see again this incredible growth of mathematics. I mean, what was achieved in the sciences, algebra, by our relatives was unbelievable. But then you begin seeing the nation-state appear. So it's logical from each step, family, tribe, city-state, nation. What's next? It's the coming together of the human family. As I shared before, one of our old stories, sacred stories. At the beginning of time, all members of our human family stood before the sacred tree with its branches overshadowing the children, one father and one mother. And each was given different gifts to develop. And now the time has come when we're bringing all our beautiful gifts together to create this incredible world of light that shall not be followed by darkness. The gentle presence of each enlightened messenger has had a ripple effect that elevated our world in ways we may never fully perceive. And it is still true in our modern time One autumn day in 1993, an intuitive kinship led a respected Native American medicine man to invite a living master and her disciples to his home. The time together was brief, but impressions were deep amidst joyful exchanges, songs, and laughter. In an inspired moment, Thomas One Wolf expressed what enlightened masters meant to the Native American people in sharing his thoughts about Supreme Master Ching Hai. Her wisdom is knowledge shared. So every word that she speaks, when she is being of lightness and happiness and sharing a joke or that way with you, remember something. The only word you're really hearing is joy. Right. When you are walking with her and you see people that will respect and honor her way, and, and pay homage to her, then you are gifted by the gift of her peace. These are what masters are to the Indian. This is good that the whole world can hear. That the dragon from the east meets the eagle from the west. And they come together and they say, I love you then that is the world message. The masters have got the biggest job on the mother. They must share with the multitudes. And they are truly the picture I paint when I tell many like yourselves to listen, the thunder voices are coming. I will be doing a very special ceremony for the master and all of you that walk with you. And honor her. I hope and pray that this will make a resounding bell ring of peace that will strike the times because truly it's the thunder voices that will carry the message. 
I can only do my part in the most sacred way I know. So our love in our hearts with all of you. You're very, very special. Grandfather doesn't make mistakes. It's very, very special. The Indian people, they have uh, preserved this kind of, you know, sacred knowledge since thousands of years. And they pass it on one generation after another. And it's never diluted or uh, polluted by the civilization, so-called civilization that we have now. So their tradition is one of the, the oldest, it's the most preserved. And I'm very happy to get to know the chief. <laughs> we have uh, taken time to come with us and bless the people in this land. It's very good of you. <laughs> Stay in your pure love. Many spiritual elders from different tribes during the mid-90s, they were having visions. They were told to share their prophecies with the world. The urgency of their message was to come together as one human family in order to take care of the Earth Mother. And the idea of the Dragon of the East and the Eagle of the West, like Thomas Onewolf said, was important because there were alliances happening around the world, bringing the entire human family together as one. He told us about the World Vision Conference, and he wanted Supreme Master Ching Hai to come and be with the entire group where all of these world religions would come together and speak about the prophecies of the Native American people and as, it, as regards to Mother Earth, that we really needed to come together as one human family and that as one human family, we would help Mother Earth heal. Although she was unable to attend due to her travels for prior commitments, Master asked for a group of our association members to be her representatives, conveying her love, especially to the Native American people. Master said that she felt they had endured a lot of hardship over the years and wanted to bring them some comfort. She had asked that we come on her behalf to give her deep respect and love to the Native American people and to bring a message of hope for the future that we may heal the wounds of the past and keep an eye toward a brighter future for all of us together. In 1997, Thomas was the tribal representative of the United Religions Initiative, an organization inspired by the United Nations 50th anniversary to bring together all faiths around the world. And he was to give the opening prayer at the second annual Congress. He turned to us with tears in his eyes and he said, Supreme Master has to give the prayer. Would you be able to ask her to send a prayer that I will speak on her behalf? And so she did send a beautiful prayer and he ended up speaking that prayer to launch this initiative. And now there is a charter from all over the world, over a hundred countries of, of interfaith leaders that are still working together. Right. And that was launched with Master's Prayer. Yes. Later, we found out that Chief Phil Lane Jr. has also been working as a Global Council Trustee of the United Religions Initiative. It's one of his many contributions to realizing the Native Prophecies of Unity. 
Mitaki Epi, I'd like to extend a very, very warm and loving handshake and embrace to Supreme Master Ching Hai. Warm and loving greetings. And I thank you so much for your interest in the indigenous peoples of the Americas and other places, but particularly here in what was formerly called Turtle Island or Canada, the United States, because there was tremendous suffering here, as you know. But we're coming back strong, strong. I want to tell you that your students here, your devotees, are such beautiful people, and they represent you so well. They've been so kind and gracious to me. So I have to know their teacher must be a great, kind, and gentle, and loving being who knows that each of us is a sovereignty, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting. And so we just send our prayers and our love and pray so strongly that your work to bring about and to support as we are all are working together to the understanding that we're one human family. And I'm going to go further than that. The prior unity and oneness of the human family. In a way, this is the reunion of the human family. So I wanted to personally send this message to you. And I look forward to that time when we can have a more public visit, if that is something that would be good and be uplifting for all members of the human family. Original 这个Aboriginal人本来他们都有知道的很清楚 加持他们的非常高等的加持，还有他们贡献给那个世界呃多伟大，他们的智慧呃多原始多重要，对社会多重要。所以呃，而且越南在越南也是一样，在越南那个优乐了，政府也是开始啊啊嗯拥护呃原
our deep appreciation, Chief Phil Lane Jr., for your beautiful sharing of the sacred prophecies of the Native American people. May the Great Spirit continue to bless your noble endeavors to unite our human family and awaken us to the reality of the oneness of all beings and oneness with Mother Earth. We are grateful to all the Native American wise and loving elders, including Thomas One Wolf, who have helped to keep the precious prophecies through the ages and convey their important lessons to our world. Our heartfelt thankfulness goes to our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai for uplifting our world and embracing all its people. May the sacred circle of life thrive in harmony forever. thinking of the indigenous people, Supreme Master Ching Hai caringly present a contribution of 50,000 U.S. dollars to Chief Phil Lane Jr.'s Four Worlds International Institute for bringing aid and comfort to Native American children and women in need. With all love, friendship, best wishes, and sincere gratitude in Wakan Tonka's Embracing Eternal Grace. Previously, also, she has requested repeatedly if she can help the Native Americans in some way, but months went by without reply. Finally, she was advised to donate to some organizations that help them. So recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai instructed also our concerned department to offer 50,000 U.S. dollars for each of the following organizations, Crossing World Hopi Projects, the Southwest Indian Foundation, and Restoring Touch to lovingly support them to care for the Native American indigenous people who are in need with all love and prayers for their wellness as well as spiritual upliftment in God's eternal grace. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for here's compassion and love towards here's precious children. Thank you, genuine viewers, for joining us today. Please join us again next week as we discover ancient Iranian prophecies about Soshiant, the final savior of the earth. 